Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jonathan here from VFX Shorts. Going to be going through a color grading tutorial here in Final Cut Pro 10. Yes, Final Cut Pro 10 can be considered an obsolete software compared to Final Cut Pro 7 or even Adobe Premiere. Uh, but uh, based on many people here on YouTube, viewing a video like this are new into the scene or just looking for new tips on their uh, to hone their skills. So here I'm going to be going through some basic color grading techniques used in uh, that I I find uh, are very useful in um, your own footage. So I'm going through two types of color grading styles. So um, I can, I can um, show you guys this just by uh, watching this. So here we go. This is the original footage raw from the camera. I use a Sony NEX VG20 and here is my take it a teal and orange effect. Uh, color grade and uh, we're gonna move on to uh, another f piece of footage from my Sony NEX VG20 as you see it's very pale you know dark outside and here is a take it a bleach by uh, bleach bypass uh, effect and uh, yeah you get some more shadows in there and um, you get some more texture here so um, uh, you can see the image a lot better very crisp leaves here here if I freeze the frame here you can see very not as crisp as before and uh, yeah we're gonna be moving in, into how you make these techniques uh, first of all actually let's see I'll show you the teal and orange I took a take at teal and orange here and I'll show you how it looks if you just add the filter so there's with the filter that's how the teal and orange looks compared to my teal and orange, which kind of mixes the bleach bypass with the teal and orange. But the problem with this, if we open our inspector with the teal and orange, you don't have much flexibility. All you have is your amount. You can see how much of the effect you want. Um, you know, here you have your shadows. If you want more shadows, less shadows. You protect the skin if you have uh, people in your uh, scene. And uh, yeah. With that, you don't have much control. So I want to show you. I get rid of that. I want to show you my technique to create my effect. So first of all, I duplicated my layer, which uh, you can just. It's very easy. Just command, uh, com copy and paste. Duplicate your layer, or you can do Command D. Command D. Or is that a different? Never mind. That is a different program. My bad. But um, here we go. Uh, just duplicate your clip and place it on top of the other. And you're going to leave your first one alone. So if I just move that away here. Actually, no. Your top one is alone. You leave your top one without any edit. And the bottom one is where you're going to edit. And you're going to want to go to your correction one. And you're just going to go to exposure and, excuse me, the top one is your edit. As I, I said that before, I knew that was correct. And you're going to go to exposure tab and you're just going to bring down the shadows and raise your highlights. And there you go, that's simple. And again with this, you have some more control over how much you want to look. You go to your saturation. I also desaturated my image. You can resaturate it and your color. You can make it. You said if you want the more teal and orange one, you can add some more of the orangey. Bye. Bringing down the shadows, you know. Getting away from the blue section. And. With this, you can mess around with your looks. I'm just gonna show you guys that. Look how much flexibility you have as compared to pulling a slider, which I find to be the point of this. You want to create your own look. Okay, so for the bleach bypass, very simple. Again, I'll show you guys how it looks if you just use a filter. Uh, bleach bypass. There we go. 
out free put it on top of my original clip and uh, yeah there it is pretty bland I guess um here as I said it combined kind of a teal and orange effect to the bleach bypass so we're gonna go here to our sorry inspector again and you will see that all you have for the bleach bypass is your mount and a uh, little slider that I don't find useful and so we'll get rid of that and we'll show you guys how I did mine as you guys can see I created two corrections the teal and orange actually added that to help that's how it was without it and it's still nice but I added teal and orange and for my color adjustment, that's what I did for the bleach bypass. I just brought up the shadows just a tad. And then midtones down on the highlights down a little bit. So, and then I went on to a second correction. This would correct my image. So we have our teal and orange on top of everything I'll show you. So we have our correction one, which was that first. So if I undo that, undo that. This is what you get after your first correction. And after that's how it was originally, that's what you get after your first correction. And then in our second correction, I'll turn on, and you see that's where we get this more of a sepia look with doing the same technique as we did with the teal and orange one. And we'll go back and then I'll add the teal and orange filter. And voila, we have the bleach bypass crossbred with the teal and orange. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. As you see, I went through several steps just to, for this grade. And that is the point with the color grading, is that you want to find what best suits your footage. I don't want to just give you, use this for that, this technique for that. You have to come up with your own. I'm sure I can give you some tips on this. But it is just through experience that you'll find out the best techniques for you, the best styles for you. And just look you're going for with your footage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, check out my other videos in my library. And I have a lot of other tutorials out there. Film burns. Um, there's a lot of tutorials out there that will help you guys. Te teach you guys some more techniques. So I hope you guys uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.